What's up internet? Welcome back once again. I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. Today in this PL SQL tutorial, we will learn what are record data types in Oracle database. I promised to cover this topic while doing a PL SQL tutorial on cursor for loop. On that note, I want to say thank you so much guys for the amazing response on database cursor series which we just finished with the last tutorial. For those who haven't watched the series, find the link of the playlist in the description. That being said, let's start today's tutorial. In Oracle PL SQL, we are provided with two special kinds of data type which makes coding PL SQL much easier by reducing the line of codes and give a cleaner look to your program. These are anchored data type and record data type. We have already learned the concept of anchor data type in PL SQL tutorial 4. Thus, today in this tutorial, we will learn what are records in Oracle database. So, what are records in Oracle database? Records are composite data structures made up of different components called fields. These fields can have different data types. This means that you can store data of different data types in a single record type variable. In simple words, we can say a record is a group of related data items stored in fields, each with its own name and data type. Next is Type of record data type in Oracle database. In Oracle PLSQL, we have three types of record data type. Table based record, cursor based record and user defined record. We will learn about each of these record data types one video at a time. Now let's see how to declare a record data type in Oracle database. Similar to percentage type, which is for declaring an anchor data type variable, Oracle PLSQL provides us an attribute percentage row type for declaring a variable with record data type. Let's take a look at the syntax to understand how to use percentage row type attribute for declaring a record type variable. Let's first check out the syntax of table based record data type. In order to declare a record type variable, first you have to specify the name of your variable, which could be anything you want. But you have to follow the Oracle guidelines for variable name. You can read about variable declaration in detail in PLSQL tutorial too. Anyways, after variable name, we have to write the name of the table. This table will serve as the base table for the record. Also, the Oracle server will then create corresponding fields in the record that will have the same name as that of a column in the table. After the table name, we have the percentage row type attribute and then you end the declaration using the semicolon. In case, if you want to declare a cursor based record type variable, then simply replace the table name with the cursor name. That's it. A quick tutorial explaining the basics of record in Oracle database. Stay tuned as in the next tutorial we will learn how to create a table based record as well as see how to access data from record type variable into our code. For in-depth knowledge you can also read about the same topic on my website link is in the description. Hope you like this quick introduction of records in Oracle database. Please give this video a thumbs up also share it on your social media and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching I will be back soon with another interesting tutorial. This is Manish from Rebellion Rider.